Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back. This is Wednesday's What's in the Vault series. Um, if you're new to this, I go around the wheel from Aries to Pisces, picking three cards for each sign, okay? And we find out what's hidden, what has the skeletons. What are the skeletons in your closet? What are the secrets that you never want anyone to know? Right? What is it that spirit wants you to know? Not to be told. Okay, let's get started. This, of course, is general. All right, Aries. Aries. Three cards for Aries. Aries, the wheel is turning for you. Thank God, right? The Aries, you're looking into a new beginning, right? With a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. You're doing something. The wheel's turning. Your luck is changing. I love this. So you're you're kind of like teaming up with someone, um, masculine or feminine, right? To go for it. To get to get to a level of peaceful peaceful abundance. Um, the sun, moon, look at the sun, moon, and the stars are all aligning for you to cut this deal. I think you're cutting a deal with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn about a job, a new job, collaborating, something, and you're keeping it quiet. Good for you. All right, Aries. What else do I see? Hold on. I heard monkey business. I don't know why. Also. Okay. Aries. Nobody knows. <laughs> All right. Okay. Taurus. Seriously. Taurus, here we go. Taurus, what is happening? Okay. Taurus, you have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio... We have this person who comes in and out of your life, in and out of your life, and it could be a Leo, Aries, Sag, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And Taurus, you, someone's like, someone's depleting or has depleted your finances. Or you were... Or you were making a decision between a water sign and a fire sign. And you need to make a decision, is what I meant. And you don't know who is going to give you the growth in that relationship. But I'm going to tell you right now, mm, I am. The Knight of Wands comes in and out. And look at this guy does not look on the up and up. He looks like he comes in just for fun. It's it's the it's the root chakra, right? But it's like this this guy, and it's an Aries card, right? This guy comes comes to you with like devilish desires. Let's put it that way. And then this one comes in with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio is about truly, you know, um, manipulation through emotions. Sorry, but it's true. And then it feels like she's wrapped up like an octopus. So when you get in the grips, right? I know it's a scorpion, but it's not just Scorpio. It's Cancer or Pisces too. So when you get in the grips of a water sign, some, it is Scorpio, by the way, because I said it. And so you're like, either one that you choose may not be the way to go. It's up to you. You're, I think you're thinking about it, which one would be better for you. But it, it could also be one person who just comes in and out emotionally for the physicality of it and then leaves. 
So that could be hiding an affair, right? It could be. Or someone is having an affair. And you know about it, but you're not saying anything. Okay, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, like four cards came out. So we are dealing with, we're trying to heal from a younger, much younger, um, Leo Aries Sagittarius, who you feel like had other options and is going for other options. And you're trying to heal from someone who does not want to continue a relationship with you because, and it's really painful, right? This is painful. Someone is extremely distraught that the end of a relationship has happened with a younger Leo Aries Sag, right? Because of someone feeling that they, the grass was greener perhaps, but I really feel that this person had other options, not just you. Or you have other options. It works both ways, right? Okay, Cancer. Cancers. I'm telling you, a lot of stuff's coming out to the light, right? Because of that moon. Look at that. The moon came out. The Empress. Okay, we have you hanging in limbo. What are you hiding? There are secrets, deception, lies, manipulation. This is the Aquarius card. So you could cancer, cancers, you could be dealing with um, a Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, or an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Cap. Someone's, you're waiting in the wings or, or you have someone, Cancer, waiting in the wings and you're not really being honest or they're not about the growth of this relationship and where it's going. So you're kind of like hanging on or someone is. You could be just pacifying someone into thinking that there's a future there and there's not. Or they're doing it to you, but I think this is your fault, not theirs. I think that you're doing it. I'm sorry, Cancer. Okay, Leo. And it's not a bad thing. You you know, it could just be you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, all right? The Seven of Swords is not always. Sometimes we, we don't disclose information because why? We don't want to hurt someone's feelings. That's it. It's that simple. All right. We have big love, Leo. Wow, look at this. Big love, but the magician and the page of swords is reversed. So this big love ha is not manifesting yet, right? Because something needs to get cut out. And it's not upright, it's reversed. So something gets to need, needs to get cut out, okay, Leo, before you can manifest your, like, this big love, right? The one. And what is it? Okay, I have to pull one more card. Leos, let me do this for you. What are you hiding? Oh, look at this. You. You want to manifest something, but you know that some... Are you lying to yourself about who you're, who, who you're in love with? That's what it is. You, you're not telling... You're not being truthful to yourself about this true love that you have. You're hiding it. You're hiding the information because you don't want anyone to know that what's in your really in your heart is is someone that no one knows. But you know, Leo. Virgo. Right? A silent love. 
All right, Virgo, let's focus on you real quick. Virgo, someone wants a commitment. Are you charging toward a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio to make a commitment? Virgo, what the heck? Someone is saying, I want it all, Virgo. This is your card, right? You could be saying, I want you, I want to come see you. I want, it could be a long distance thing, right? I want to come see you and make you that offer. And maybe you are going to do it. Maybe that's what you're planning, yeah? Right? And the Spirit's got your back. I mean, you know, look it. For you to make this decision, or does someone have a decision of, oh, I just, okay, so listen, Virgo, you could be in love with someone who's married, or you're the married one. This woman has two men. Someone who's married and someone who's not. Yep. So this could be a choice between two people, Virgo. You, If you're married, Virgo, you're either staying married or you're moving on with a water sign. That's it. And that's your dilemma, Virgos. And it's in the vault for a reason. Okay. Libra. Libra. What is going on, Libra? Okay, so I got these four cards. <laughs> Libra, we have untruth, lies, deception. Someone is not... Someone now sees, maybe it's you, I think, that you're seeing the truth of a situation that cannot grow. This is real love. Are you not are you not seeing that this is true love? Libra. We have Leo, Aquarius, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. So I don't know if this is, okay, I feel it's either self-sabotage or you're now going after your happiness after you, after you be realistic about yourself. Be, be truthful to yourself, Libra, and cut out Cut out whatever it is that, that you don't want in your life, but make sure that you're not self-sabotaging and lying to yourself about this love. Let me just take one more card for you guys. Because that's the two of cups. I mean, it would be different if it was the lovers, right? Is this a real, is this a real deal here? Right? You don't know which way to go. You don't know which way to go, Libra. You've got this, you've got a, um, I think you really have to come to your own truth, right? Of how, which way you're going to go. Universe can't tell you what's in your heart. You have to do that. But the truth is that you want a, you want this. It's, it's very painful to see that all you want to do is be happy, Libra. And you have this painful situation of lies, deception, and manipulation. It could be from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo. So you're going to have to make a decision what makes you happy. Either you're going to cut... Are you lying to yourself, though? That's the question. Do you think that you're lying to yourself about what really makes you happy? Only you can answer that question, right? Scorpio. Scorpio, what's happening here? Scorpio. All right, so you, Scorpio, you and Libra may have a connection uh, as someone is 
wanting to come to you, right? But you have a you have also an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or or a well, it is a Cancer, so it's it's water. It could be another water sign or an air sign that you're charging toward, but you want to, but someone feels like they're stuck in a relationship right now and can't get out. You want to get out of being stuck in a relationship where the love is not reciprocated. It's either you or an air sign or another water sign. Spirit's saying you got to get out of this, or someone does. Someone feels like they're really stuck in a relationship. It could be you're stuck in a marriage. It could be you want to just, you want to get out of the relationship. Because you know it's not going anywhere. Okay, Sag. Sagies, what is, oh, jeez. All right, hold on. We're going to take these. Okay, those flipped over. Saggies, you're holding on to some secret, Saggies. You know the truth about something. You know the truth of what's going on in a family dynamic. You know the secrets. You know the truth. You're very aware, but you're not talking about it. Or will you? Or is someone... Are you judging or being judged by a secret that is being, there's a secret. Mm -mm -mm. We have a family dynamic. Are you like internally judging a family member or holding someone a family member secret? You're holding the secret. You know the secret in the family. You know a secret in the family. And are you internalizing by judging that person? You're not, well, obviously not telling them that you're judging them, but you are. Ooh, that's deep. What's going on there? Sagittarius. Wow. You know something, Saggies. That's not, that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Capricorn. Seriously, what is happening here? Capricorn, look at what's happening. Are you concerned about making, I immediately thought about your needing to make uh, payments, child support payments, and it's taking every strength out of you to do so. Something about, you needing also to tame your children. Wow, Capricorn, what's happening? <laughs> and so, and or, and or you are collaborating with others to do something to, you're at the, you're at the brainstorming um, of new ideas, new growth for ideas. But I don't feel that 100%. I feel like, Two kids are, you're trying to tame your children. That's, and I have to go with what I feel. I feel one is very emotionally manipulative and the other one loves to ask for money a lot. So you just have to balance those two kids out. You know, it could be younger. It could be a younger earth sign and water sign as well. It could be someone that you're dealing with that has both those in the, your chart and their chart. Aquarius, what's happening? I mean, it depends, right? Who we're dealing with, but I felt it as children in Capricorn. Okay. Aquarius, the wheel is turning for you with a Leo Aries Sagittarius and what? Are you kidding? Massive happiness and fulfillment, Aquarius. Look at you. Maybe a new job. Maybe a some money's coming into your life, right? You're being, definitely the wheel is, this is karmic. Oh, you're receiving your karmic pay of not, some of it, some of it is literally some money coming to you, right? Either with a 
Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, right? Putting money away, putting money for the future. Someone is making sure that you are going to be securely financially settled, settled Aquarius, right? It could be a father figure. It could be you, right? You getting a new job that's making a ton of money and you're doing really well. You, you might have been looking for something, Aquarius, but it's good. Or you're doing something financially with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. And maybe it's in the works. Maybe you're not really like, you're not telling anybody because it's still in, you know. Or someone is putting a, I felt like a will together to give you, to give you, you know, substantial money for your future. Okay, Aquarius is done. Pisces. <clears throat> Pisces. All right, I'm going to take one more Pisces. What is going on here? Pisces, you could be the empress here with, what is this, Pisces? Are you with or your child in a relationship that you know something about? So you know the truth about someone's, I feel like seriously, Pisces, you know about someone someone's not telling you, but you know, because you're a Pisces. You know that someone is, oh gosh, I just heard pregnant. I think someone's pregnant and you know the secret. Did I don't know if someone is going to choose to not keep the pregnancy. It pregnancy because of the empress and the the page is fertile. Someone is very fertile right now. So someone the secret could be that someone doesn't want to keep the child. Oh god. I hope not, Pisces. I got to pick out one more card. Maybe some maybe a ch your child got someone pregnant. Oh, someone's getting married. Okay. Yeah, someone's proposing and that's a secret. Or someone got married and didn't tell anyone and now you know in the family. Wow, a child is getting married and that's like, or they got married because they're pregnant. Someone's getting married because they're pregnant. Someone got someone pregnant. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. And it's, wow. All right, let me get one, one card for the collective of what is in the vault. What is the collective card for all? And the message, of course. What is it? The secrets that we keep. I heard that. I hear the secrets that we keep. That song. I hear the secrets that you keep. The outlaw. We are facing a time of rebellion, right? So uh, these boots, there's a lot of people that are saying these boots are made for walking and they're going to walk all over you. Um, I see some people, this is, of course, to me, this is Texas, seriously. I don't know, Texas at Christmas may have something significant. Maybe there's a big gathering <clears throat> for many in Texas for Christmas. Um, I'm hearing the, wow, this is a lot. I'm hearing the outlaw of Josie Wales. Clint Eastwood's movie. Clint Eastwood be, could be significant in the upcoming week. Um, what else do I feel with this? I feel something with tassels. You know? Someone buying something with tassels. Um, 
hiking, people going hiking, uh, Boy Scouts, I, right? Going in the woods, learning how to, you know, do the fire, how to learn. There's a, uh, the Boy Scout, I forgot what they were called, where they teach you, right? How to tie a knot and how to do a fire and survival. Survival. This is about learning survival, how to survive in the wilderness. Ooh. Wow, the, a lot came out with this card, you guys. And don't forget, we're doing the vault. So this could be someone is lost in the wilderness. Someone's learning how to survive against all odds, right? It's interesting. Let's pick one more. I'm curious what this rebel is doing. The outlaw, the explorer. Someone's out. Someone's out exploring the fields, right? North, south, east, west. They're hiking. Someone could be. Uh, okay, so now I'm hearing um, that someone could be lost in the wilderness and will be found. I feel will be found. Maybe someone went on a hike, right, in the woods. Let me get one more card because I want to make sure it's going to be okay. I hope. Someone who is on their own can handle themselves. The sovereign, a very noble, someone very noble and wise and keeps to themselves someone's hiding out someone's hiding out in the woods not to get caught give me one card please just one yep Someone doesn't know where they're headed, so they're headed nowhere. They're just, someone is out in the wilderness, not knowing where they're headed. They're lost. There's someone out in the wilderness who's lost, but does know how to survive or is learning how to survive. And we may hear about it. Someone's hiding out. I don't know. That could be someone you know. I don't, I don't know. I just got that. That was a lot. Okay. Have a great week. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.